The close mid-front rounded vowel, or high mid-front rounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound used in some spoken languages. Acoustically, it is a close mid-front central rounded vowel. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents the sound is O stroke, a lowercase letter O with a diagonal stroke through it, borrowed from Danish, Norwegian, and Faroese, which sometimes use the letter to represent the sound. The symbol is commonly referred to as O slash in English. For the close mid-front rounded vowel that is usually transcribed with the symbol or Y, senior close front rounded vowel. If the usual symbol is O stroke, the vowel is listed here. Topic. Close mid-front compressed vowel The close mid-front compressed vowel is typically transcribed in IPA simply as O stroke, which is the convention used in this article. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, the compression of the lips can be shown with the letter B as E, B simultaneous e and labial compression or E, E modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter O stroke as an ad hoc symbol, but spread technically means unrounded. For the close mid front compressed vowel that is usually transcribed with the symbol, see near close front compressed vowel. If the usual symbol is O stroke, the vowel is listed here. Topic. Features Its vowel height is close mid, also known as high mid, which means the tongue is positioned halfway between a close vowel, a high vowel and a mid vowel. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. Its roundedness is compressed, which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Topic. Occurrence Note, because front rounded vowels are assumed to have compression, and few descriptions cover the distinction, some of the following may actually have protrusion. Topic. Close mid-front protruded vowel Catford notes that most languages with rounded front and back vowels use distinct types of labialization, protruded back vowels and compressed front vowels. However, a few, such as the Scandinavian languages, have protruded front vowels. One of them, Swedish, even contrasts the two types of rounding in front vowels see near close near front rounded vowel, with Swedish examples of both types of rounding. As there are no diacritics in the IPA to distinguish protruded and compressed rounding, an old diacritic for labialization, will be used here as an ad hoc symbol for protruded front vowels. Another possible transcription is O stroke or E, a close mid front vowel modified by endolabialization, but that could be misread as a diphthong. For the close mid-front protruded vowel that is usually transcribed with the symbol, see near close front protruded vowel. If the usual symbol is O stroke, the vowel is listed here. Acoustically, the sound is in between the more typical compressed close mid-front vowel o and the unrounded close mid-front vowel e. Topic. Features Its vowel height is close mid, also known as high mid, which means the tongue is positioned halfway between a close vowel, a high vowel and a mid vowel. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. Its roundedness is protruded, which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together, and the inner surface is exposed. Topic. Occurrence Topic. See also Index of phonetics articles Notes <laughs>